Christ Jesus by the will of God. To the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father. with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him in love he predestined us for adoption to himself his sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in love he loved in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses According to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time. According to the purpose of him who works all things According to the counsel of his will So that we who were the first to hope In Christ might be to the praise of his glory In him you also of your salvation. Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. Hope you're having a blessed day. Mm -hmm. Mama, she's cooking. Yep. I'm watching. Yep. I'm pressing the buttons. That, that he does. But you I know? do too. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, but I'm the only one that's not supposed to say anything. No, you're not supposed never, to say anything. Never, never ever. say no, anything. Never ever. happens. Never, not ever. Not ever. So, so, what are you making today, Mama? <laughs> so, uh, other we, than a mess. Hey, I th no. I'm teasing. No, <laughs> I'm teasing about that. Um, so we have this book. I actually grabbed it. Um, the Lost Ways. And this is an excellent book for learning how to do all kinds of stuff um, that pretty much has been done away with and for the from most modern part. technology, right? For the most part. For the most part. Well, inside this, this book, there are several recipes that I think are really, really cool. Today, we're actually going to make um, meatless sausage. It's kind of a depression era thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Basically, if you had anything to eat at all, you were very grateful. Yep. So a lot of this stuff is fry it up and see what actually works. See what sticks. You know, <laughs> uh, does it make you not hungry anymore? Mm -hmm. And yep. that's, but this has actually got a lot of good stuff in it. Yep. Um, and you can really swap a lot of things out. You really can. Um, the recipe is very, very simple. Very few ingredients. So, you know, you've seen online, I actually did a little bit of research and saw a bunch of meatless sausage recipes that had just a list, a huge list of ingredients. This is very short, very simple stuff that you would have uh, easy access to that's inexpensive. So the ingredients are as follows. Beans, egg, um, seasoning, which would be sage and... Um, uh, salt, 
and breadcrumbs and a little bit of fat. That's pretty much it. Um, the fat that I'm going to use is lard. Uh, you don't have to use that. You can use whatever fat you prefer. If you want to use grapeseed oil or avocado oil and make it a little healthier, that's fine. Um, we have lard and you know what? Here's the thing Doesn't about, a lot of flavor. well, a thing about the fat, it's honestly just for the frying. Mm -hmm. You're going to put a little bit in your pan anyway. Right. So if you want it lean, Keep it, lean, Keep it lean, you know, and then just use whatever you need to do for the actual frying. Right. But most people know the flavor is with the fat. Right. And it also helps to keep it moist. Yep. Um, you know, I was looking at these other recipes with the oats in it, and they just look like this big, nasty, dry thing. Chunk of fried cardboard. Yeah, it looked gross. It really did. So this is a super simple recipe that we're going to show you today. Okay, show. Sure. So, all right, we've got uh, one cup, approximately, of uh, cooked uh, beans. You can make them yourself. You can uh, take dry beans, soak them, and then cook them. Um, I honestly just grabbed a can of beans because there, it time. wasn't going to be. It it's was, just time. It's just time, exactly. So if you already can your own beans, beautiful. Then you would just strain them. And rinse them. So they can see. Oh, sure. Not a problem. So they can see. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smash these um, with a fork. And um, maybe. <laughs> you want me to get the potato I will, masher? I'll grab the potato masher. We got the potato <laughs> masher. Little, proved to be a little bit too tough. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so let's see who's here while you're looking around. Hi, Tammy, Michelle, Becky. Happy Meet from Rios, Judy. Let's see, Millie and hey, Jess. Good after Neving to Shri. And I say after Neving because she is in the awesome place of the UK. Yeah. Uh, CJ, common sense. Good after. Hey, Angel's Journey. We are freeze drying as we speak. Uh, I got beans, says Tammy. And uh, say hi, guys. Chime in. Add to the conversation. Mom is. Mashing. If you want me to mash, I can mash. No, it's fine now. I, I had actually squeezed one of the beans to see how difficult it would be to smash them with a fork. It was easy to squish with my fingers, but not so much a fork. Well, I am happy to be the smasher of beanage if you need it. It's really okay. I'm a healthy helper, Tim. I'll do it. <laughs> you know, honestly, you could probably put this into um, even a food processor. Yeah, but kind of the whole idea is that this is low tech. You don't have access to a lot. Right. You're right. going to, you know, because ladies and gentlemen, here's the scoop. Things might get weird in the near future. You never know. You never know. You never know. So wouldn't it be nice to be able to fill the belly with something actually not too unhealthy? Yeah. Yeah. If you were having a hard time getting something at all. Right. And beans grow like crazy. You, yeah, beans are one of those things that you can't really uh, mess those up. In a garden, it's hard to yeah. do it. And you could use any kind of bean, really. Mm -hmm. Yep, you just got to use the, you got to let them dry in the pot, and then you can use those um, to make these. You'd have to cook them and soak them and all that yeah. jazz, but... Elizabeth is from New Zealand. Hi. Oh, hey there, Elizabeth. We just happened to be watching your homeland last night. We were watching uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smasher of beanage. That's All right. right. All right. You good? I'm trying to not to make that too loud. Sorry. Well, then uh, here, I'll scrape instead of banging unless. Well, I'm trying. You know, that's the thing. Potato mashes are, are great, but they're kind of a pain. They get messy. They do. Hey, Phoebe, how you doing? All righty. Now, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to stick that right there. There you go. The silver makes the uh, camera kind of freak out. It, it doesn't does. know what to do. What it should does. I focus on? I'll go ahead and beat that egg. Yeah, it might be better for that. Before adding Sure. Adding it. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Hey, you guys, if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up. About half of you, uh, yeah. maybe a little less than half have said you appreciate it. Yeah. All right. We're going to use a half a cup of dried breadcrumbs. Um, I've got plain breadcrumbs here. 
but you, if you want, use seasoned. It's entirely up to you. That's the, uh, that's what I love about this recipe. You can use whatever kind of beans. You can use lentils, uh, dried peas, whatever you want. You can use a combination, whatever you prefer. Yep. Uh, a little bit of fat here. Like I said, we're using lard. If you wanted to go nuts, I would say of. butter, but that's just me. Yeah, but see, I think butter has a higher... Smoke point. Smoke point. No, lower smoke point yeah. than lard. That's right. Backwards. So it would tend to burn. Yep. And then we want a half a teaspoon of... No, a teaspoon of sage. Sorry. One yes. teaspoon of sage. And a half a teaspoon of and salt. And a half teaspoon of salt. And then I've got a little bit of red pepper here, crushed red pepper that I'm going to put in there. Ooh, make it a little, it's a little spassy. There's your salt. Just a smidge. Mm -hmm. Burn just, your lips off. Just, just a little, see, little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. It's like not even an eighth of a teaspoon. It is amazing how that stuff flavors, and they're just little flakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, once you get that incorporated, you don't want it completely dry, and you don't want it sloppy wet. Right. So then, what are you going to do? To stick together, and then we're going to make it into little patties, and fry her up. See, it's kind of a paste. See you, Jess. Bye, Jess. Have a great day. She heading out. Yep, she's got to go out, and I and uh, says outside. Gotcha. Oh man, All sounds right, so wonderful. Look there. There you go. So it looks like a paste. Quiet dogs. They're barking at something. They're barking at something. Yep. I'm going right. to go check to make sure it's not something that I need. True. Because I'm waiting on the mailman. He is waiting for the mailman. All right. So let's go ahead and get our skillet. Now this skillet, I just got this last week. Two weeks ago? Yeah, it's been great. This has been an absolute... I, oh, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not getting rid of any of my cast iron. I absolutely love my cast iron. That one's top shelf, right? This has been a great thing for um, the non bread because... It does not stick. It doesn't stick, and it doesn't require a lot of oil to cook it. It's, it's basically aluminum coated with some kind of ceramic yes. coating. Yes, yeah. And I got to tell you what, I was I was a little bit shocked just because everything sticks, minus mm -hmm. a very, very heavily seasoned cast, cast iron. iron. Yeah. And boy, oh boy, if I have, I, I have reduced way a lot the amount of oil or butter or yes. anything that I've used. Yeah. And you don't need to make it go so hot, to be honest. Correct. So, you just don't. In this particular pan, you shouldn't go higher than medium with it. So... That way you're not going to um, overheat the pan. Yep. So, so right in the instructions. instructions. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of lard in there. Do you uh, need something to, like a rack to put these on when they're done? Uh, mm, I, I'll grab one of these. That's what I was kind of wondering. If you wanted me to grab something, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Oh, just cookie sheet. Yeah. Okay. Krista, your skillet looks beautiful, says Shri. <laughs> It's really cool. I mean, it doesn't require a lot of fat. Like right there is just about too much. Yeah, it's on the borderline. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to grab a spoon. Just let her heat up. Yeah. And Hi, then... Rhonda Coleman. Hi, guys. Never hardly catch you live. Oh, well, we honestly are going to do our darndest to go live around 2 o'clock. Afternoons. In the afternoon. Sometimes life happens and it just doesn't work. Um, yeah. You know, say there's an appointment that we have to be at or, you know, there's cows running around, they're out or whatever, but. Digging an Olympic sized swimming pool. Sure. With a Sounds trowel. Like what? <laughs> Might take a little while. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's, it's got to be. Yeah. So. Be making sure that you're planning ahead. You know, you could make these into patties. You could make these into sausage links. I don't know. Try both. Yeah, that smells really good, actually. So. See, here's the thing. You want to know the secret? We've never tried this recipe. Nope. We thought, what would be it a looks great good. thing that we've not done before? Hey, let's look in the Lost Ways book. 
Because there's a lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of great stuff in there. All right, pan is hot. We good? We're good. Starting to sizzle a little. Mm -hmm. You know, I even thought, you know, putting some garlic in here. Um, ooh, onion would be good in here. Some little chopped onion. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be really good. Of course, you'd want to do, like, we love our Thrive Life ingredients, mm -hmm. but I would say no on that. You're going to want something that has moisture in it. Yes. You want to use fresh. Yeah. And, or rehydrate those right. Thrive Life exactly. ingredients. Exactly. Most certainly. These are not going to be the same size, probably because I didn't weigh them or measure them. But there's going to be lots of protein in these because of the beans um, and the egg. So. Common, common sense says, I love cooking in my cast iron. I also cook in my stainless mm -hmm. steel. Yep. It doesn't stick for me either. I try to stay away from aluminum. Well, this is aluminum coated. It's coated. Right. So it's... Um, With uh, some kind ceramic. of ceramic. It's ceramic coated. Um, but yeah, no, most of the time we use our cast iron or our stainless steel. I use this for non-bread. Um, actually, we've been starting to cook... Um, uh, Ruth has actually been cooking her potatoes and stuff in here when she makes her breakfast. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. I was thinking of buying that book, says Phoebe. Should I? Well, I'll tell you what. Where's the it's right book? right here. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, we got this as a gift. Mm -hmm. This was a gift from my dad. And Ooh. thanks, Dad. Look at that. Looks good. Yeah. Um, and you would be surprised at how many actually useful things are in mm -hmm. here yeah i let's see it's um we're, we're not we're not pages. we're not making any money off this book mm -hmm. just so just so you know it's yeah. not like we're just saying it because we actually like it yeah 303 pages the last chapter is don't forget the lubrication so you know it's a good book to just start with that right build your own water so wheel. start with that or end with that <laughs> yeah build your own water wheel um there's a lot of stuff in here that would have been considered common sense around the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here, how to cook, a lot of good recipes, a lot mm -hmm. of things like smoking and um, not smoking like cigarettes, but smoking foods smoking and meats. preserving mm -hmm. and charcoal and all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. I, I would say about half of it we had already done or do. Right. But right. we are odd ducks. Yes. And we've been trying to learn more, do more, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, so for the average bear, I'd say there's a lot of useful stuff there in here. There is a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, like how to make poultices, like mm -hmm. medicines. Our ancestors guide to root cellars. Oh, very cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. How to preserve That's things, right, yada, yada. I, I think it's a good book. I would definitely say if you don't have it, it's definitely easily worth 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Easily. Shauna said, I made meatless loaf with grape nuts. Like the cereal? Huh. Why not? You totally could do that. Why not? It'd be nice and crunchy. Yeah. Unless there's a grape nut that I don't know about. No. Grape nuts is a cereal yeah. that tastes like rocks. No, I don't know. I don't eat it. All right. Who's hungry for lunch and or dinner? Because we know folks that are here from uh, New Zealand. We know folks here from mm -hmm. the UK. Hey, where are you guys from? Rhonda, where are you from? Pauline, where you at? We know Shree's in the UK. And we can see here that Cripple Creek Farms says they're from Kentucky. And ooh, I like the way that. It's starting to smell good there. Mm -hmm. Do you have a link for the book? The answer is no, because no. we we're not selling it. <laughs> no, uh, you we'll just have to you just have to search it on on the, wherever you want to buy I'll show something you. from. I'll show you because yeah, we're, like I said, we're not we're not sponsoring the book. We just like it. No, we just really like it. The Lost Ways, and it's by lots of people. Oh yeah, that's it. They just compiled yeah, it's a, it. It's a it's in a compilation kind of thing. Well, okay, so that recipe yeah. seven patties, and you could make them bigger, smaller. Actually, I'm going to make this one into links. I want to see how it works. Yep. 
Northern Cali we got here, Sashana. Sue is from Southwest Washington, North Dakota. Rhonda's from Florida. All right, help me, Rhonda, come on. Probably never heard that one before, huh? I would imagine she has. Never. No. Pauline's from PA. Shauna says, yes, the cereal, the grape nuts. Huh. I think the patties are a little easier to make. That does smell good, actually. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is that just about anything that you put a little fat in and fry up with some salt, mm -hmm. just about anything is going to taste palatable. Yeah. Now, I do not endorse this as a food, but when I had done oh, some, please. oops, that one's coming loose there. Yeah. Got dumped. When I had done some uh, missionary work in Haiti, this is really sad, so I'm not suggesting this is a food, but just to give you the idea that if you got to fill up your belly, you got to fill up your belly. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the kids would make what are called mud cakes, and they would literally find clay on the ground or mud. They'd throw a little bit of fat with it, and if they had lucky enough to throw just a smidge of salt or sugar, mm -hmm. they'd fry that up in a pan and they'd eat the dirt, literally. Yeah. So if things get hard, you'll fill your belly with whatever you have access to. That's true. These are just about done. Right. You got to make sure that you cook the egg fully. That's so, really it. That's really it. But you know what? Uh, where is a, Ooh, the da -da 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 -da. where is the angel's journey? Because the angel's journey can tell you exactly what temperature the eggs cook at. One hundred and sixty degrees. She told me that. I know. <laughs> because they, she makes this egg, this uh, coffee drink. Ugh, and it was I was I was ready to just go. No, I don't want it. And it, it's supposed to be really good for you. It has coconut oil, uh, butter, oh, an egg, coffee. A, a raw egg. A raw egg. But you have to blend it as you're pouring the coffee in. So that coffee is at 160 degrees and it cooks the egg. And then it doesn't make a scrambled egg. And I got to so. tell you what, folks. Um, I was ready to go... I will not, will not in a bush. I will not, will not with a, a tush. I will not here or there. I will not eat green eggs and ham anywhere. No, I won't do it, Sam, I am. And then um, they broke me down, and I yeah. tried it. Yeah. And surprisingly, you didn't taste the egg at all. It no. just tastes kind of like a latte. Yeah. It I was think very bizarre. I it, too. I don't know. It was, she has a video. It was surprisingly good, and you can check it out at The yeah. Angel's Journey. Even though yep. I didn't want to try it, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I, I don't drink coffee, so I don't make that. Oh, Phoebe, you were like me. I turned my nose up, but it was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So, The Angel's Journey, she has a YouTube channel, and you can go and look on her videos, um... And she's got some great videos. They do um, a lot of ninja skills. That's the keto. main thing they do. They do um, ninja keto. Keto and <laughs> no. there's a lot of cool stuff. Same, a lot yeah. of similar things, but yeah, they I have their remember. own distinct identity too. Te definitely, definitely. All right, I think. Whoops! Oh darn, that one came apart. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that one fell apart. Actually, kind of looks like sausage too. Yeah, if hey you there, use Gunner. a slightly hey, hey. darker, um, a slightly darker bean. bean, or a combination of colors, these are these are done. I think it needs more egg in it for it to stick together better. But trial and error, right? Uh, Tammy says, I like myself, so I don't eat eggs and anything but cakes. <laughs> That's really funny, Tammy. You know, we were friends with a guy, and this is no lie. You, if anybody out there knows him, um, you can attest to the fact that there really is a priest. I said priest, Catholic priest, who looks a lot like a chunky Robin Williams, um, and his name is Father John Girth. Mm -hmm. And he made it his 
He lives in Florida. Yeah, he made it part of his world that if anything was green, it was not edible. Oh. It was not edible. That's really good. For Rizzles? I'm not kidding. I'm not faking it. That's good. Faking it? I'm not faking it. <laughs> faking it. You know, right, why I, you want to do that? To, I needed to mash them up a little bit. There's still some whole, whole beans in there. You know what? It actually sausage. smells like sausage. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yum. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude going, huh, with my <laughs> mouth open. You know what? That's not bad at all. No. That's really good. Heck of a lot of protein. And, okay. You saw how easy it was. Of course, I opened up the can of beans beforehand. Huh. Um, and the... Um, um, I melted, I softened the lard a little bit before we started. Huh. That honestly tastes similar to sausage. I mean, it's obviously got a crumbly texture. Right. But. Mm hmm Or that sage really does a number. Mm -hmm. That's one of the, mm -hmm. excuse me. That's one of the key ingredients in breakfast sausage yep. is, is sage. Wow, mm. I'm surprised. I am too. I mean, I like beans. I like eggs. I like breadcrumbs. I like all of these things. But together, you never know what it's going to taste like. All right, one addendum to the recipe. Mm -hmm. Maybe instead of plain breadcrumbs, you use Italian. Okay. A little more flavor. Okay. And honestly, I think that's just about it. I wouldn't do much else uh, because as long as you're careful, they're coming out together. Yeah. I, like I said, I think it needs a little bit more egg. But then it's just, I mean, it'll stick together better, I suppose. That's, yeah. The egg is the binder. Um, it is the egg that the binds, binds us. us. Yes. But I like this. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Really fast, really easy, and super healthy for you. Um, you know, for those of our friends who are um, Torah observant, this is a, a nice That's alternative. That's kosher. Except for the Minus lard the that we lard, but then have use to butter. use a different fat. Use butter. Right. But this is a great alternative. And, I like this a lot. And I'll say that if you used butter, you were concerned about the smoke point. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is change your temperature in cooking them. True. It didn't. It didn't smoke at all. No. No. That was fast. Faster than thawing sausage. Or I should say growing sausage and then, you know. Shauna, you are 100% right because that's exactly why we're doing these recipes. We're going to be doing several videos mm -hmm. on depression era foods. Why? Because I think they're going to be very handy mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tammy, you could use a little bit of flour. Um, you could um, use, you could use, um, you could use any kind of uh, like arrowroot or maybe cornstarch to use as the binder. Um, I like the texture of the breadcrumbs in there, though. I do. Of you could use cornbread or uh, cornmeal. You could use cornmeal. Um, depending on if you're gluten-free or not, you could use... If you're going to use oats, I would grind them into a nice fine flour. I would not use them whole. That just... I think that dries it out too much. You know what's but, weird? It, I'm trying in my mind to make it taste like beans in my head. It doesn't taste it like really beans. It really doesn't taste no, like beans. No, it doesn't. It does not taste like beans. I mean, other than I just got a hull of a bean, but mm -hmm. other than that. And that's why I'm thinking if you put them, I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. I am talking with my mouth full. I'm talking with my mouth open. If you used a small um, food processor, little food chopper, it would blend those beans up uh, very fine. Gunner is asking if SOS will be on the menu plan. It's a it des totally it's depression could be. era of food. Totally could be. And if you don't mm -hmm. know what SOS means, it's something Google. on a shingle. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, it, on the, a shingle. the S could mm -hmm. be a reference to whatever meat mm -hmm. you want to put in there. Exactly. When I was growing up, my mom made SOS mm -hmm. something on a shingle. Mm -hmm. And she would go get those like 50, 40 cent packets of the budding brand, like shaved Corn meat. And she chopped those suckers mm -hmm. fine and make them into some kind of like white gravy thing. Mm -hmm. 
You put it on toast. <laughs> and you know what? Mm -hmm. It worked. Yeah, it did. We were here. It did. We had it when I was a kid, too, growing up. Um, it was that, Franks and Beans. And Franks and Beans. Beanies and Weenies. Franks and Beans. You know, and, um, um, yeah. You know, another thing that my mom made, though, that just to say that times change. By the way, look at this pot, this pan. It's completely clean. You could just wipe it out. I mean, that's just like stuff sitting in there. Look at yeah. that. It's just even shaking. Yeah. But um, one of the things that has changed, my mom used to make what she called cheap spaghetti. Right. And so imagine your spaghetti noodles, but instead of like a tomato sauce, it was Campbell's soup mm -hmm. plus a pound of bacon. Yep. Fried. Yep. Now that's not so cheap. No, bacon is like seven, eight dollars a pound. It's insane. Um, it is not cheap spaghetti. Schnitzel on a shingle. <laughs> schnitzel, maybe not schnitzel. <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. That's Bologna so on funny. gravy biscuit. What was the okay? Since we're since we're going there, what was the crazy cheap, cheap, cheap food that you had growing up? And I'll read it if it's if I catch my eye and it's interesting. I'll read it, and you will get heralded with awesome internet accolades. <laughs> what was the cheapest thing that your parents made? Well, we had beanies and weenies all the time. But is that, I guess that's a dollar package you, you of buy a hot can. dogs. No, it came in a can. We always had to cut ours. Well, actually, I don't know. I never made them. I never went in there in when my mom was making, cut, cut, making cut. food. And that, hence why I never learned how to cook until I was an adult. Um, she never let me in the kitchen. Well, we're learning. So, Moni says spam. Okay, here's, the, you're going to love this. Okay. Uh, when I was young, when I was a younger man, back in my day, I was in a band and we had this kind of Saturday Night Live kind of front end of our show. It was all jumping around, getting the kids all fun and happy. And, and then we would talk about Jesus after that. We would do both, but it was like everything was pointed in that direction. Yeah. Well, part of what we would do is we'd bring people up and there would be like a game show kind of vibe yeah. up on the mm -hmm. stage. And we would bring the youth pastors who hosted the event up. They didn't know what was getting ready to happen. No. And Blind then there would be a spam eat off. Ugh. So you'd have three different pastors up there. And they'd go <laughs> with that gelatinous oh, fat. And they would not fat, but munch, munch, munch because they didn't want their youth group to be let down. Right. They, they, they needed to be. So the spam eat off. No, I, I think my favorite thing that you guys used to do is condiments of the spirit. Yeah, instead of gifts of the spirit, mm -hmm. condiments, condiments of, of the, the spirit. spirit. So they would what? Well, they would get uh, bottles of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, and... Um, they would chug them. They would eat them. The kids would... Uh, I couldn't believe it. They would do it. Yeah. It was disgusting. <laughs> they would like... Mm -hmm. They would do it because they yeah. didn't want to be the one to lose. No. Mm -mm. Okay, so cheap Funny. meals... I don't know what dal is, Shri, D-A-A-L. Um, describe it. Tomato sandwiches. Oh, but tomato sandwiches oh, tomato are sandwiches. great. We used to do lettuce sandwiches where it was just a you know a couple of slices of, or a couple of uh, leaves of iceberg lettuce, mayonnaise, and white bread. But now cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches. The best. Yeah, yeah. The best. I like to do cucumbers in a wrap. So I'll put a, I'll have a, you know, a nice big, you know, spinach or tomato, sun-dried tomato wrap um, with cheese and turkey and lettuce and cucumbers or spinach. I usually use spinach um, and then just wrap that up. I don't even put any mayonnaise or mustard or anything on it. Macaroni and tomatoes and wieners. <laughs> Wiener schnitzels. <laughs> Gunner says, we went through our share of bologna and tuna fish as a kid. I guess what I never bought as an adult. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Sage bean patties are some of my favorites. So that's, that's what this that's really what is. That's what this is. This is a sage bean patty. Um, and this is really good. And like I had said before, you can change whatever seasoning you want. Um, you can add, I think, I think um, chopped onions would be really good in this. I bet they would. You you keep know? it nice and mm -hmm. moist, add yeah. some flavor. Yeah, a little bit more egg. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some tweaks on this because this is a really uh, fast um, breakfast sausage. 
thing that is really good for the kids. You know, they they like to make breakfast sandwiches, and so. I don't think this you could use this good. as a sandwich bread, though. Well, I mean, no, it's no, holding not together. The bread, not the bread, but inside you put your egg on there and you have your bread. Or you can even um, put it on a wrap if you want. Sure. Well, everybody, chicken gizzard goulash. Ooh. I don't know what gumbit cheese is, but mm. I don't know. I don't know. We've all had our share. Um, Miracle Whip and chip sandwich, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We never did Miracle Whip, but... I'd always put chips on the sandwich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, write the recipe down. You know what? I'm going to go back to this recipe mm -hmm. right here because pause it, write Take it a down. Take screenshot if you're on your phone. Yeah. It's not, it's super easy mm -hmm. and you can use whatever beans you have and beans are still cheap. Mm -hmm. Beans are high in protein. Yes. So if you can't afford meat or you just don't want it. Right. This is a great alternative. And guess what? It's not crickets. Sorry. Not crickets. So. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry no crickets. Sorry. Yes. So anyway, <laughs> that's it, guys. Yeah. Hopefully you like it. We're going to mm -hmm. start sharing some more things that are just uber cheap. Yeah. That uh, hopefully we don't ever have to use. But sadly, I think we're headed in that direction. These are some staples you need to just kind of keep around in your pantry. They stay a long time on the mm -hmm. shelf and yep. a lot of protein. A lot of protein. Okay. You guys have a blessed day. All right. See you guys. Bye.